Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here's a way of using a fill layer to create a tint. Very simple approach. Where we go to the first off, we say uh, layer, new fill layer, and this will come up with whatever the color setup here is. You can change the color here and you can you change the color down here. So on this here, let's say, let's try for a moment, let's put in a kind of a blue like that. And a simple way to then, if you like, punch through that is to go to here and reduce opacity. So as we drag this down, the picture underneath gradually appears. A better way from this is to actually start from the bottom and work your way up if you want to put just a gentle tint on it. So whatever colour kind of suits there. What you can do as well, because you've got the, this, the fill layer is selected, you can change the colour up here just by clicking in here. And you can literally just drag around the place, so the, the left mouse button down, you can literally go to wherever it is. And this is an easy way to sort of experiment with colours. As you go up it gets lighter, and as you to go down it gets darker. And you can find what you like. So as for now, let's just go to that red end. What you can do as well is do experiments with the blend modes, which are up here. So if we click on this, you scan down and see what happens, see what you like. Sometimes there's a few up here can be useful. From overlay, the few below overlay or overlay itself can be a useful one as well. Down below here, the ones around hue, saturation, luminosity and colour can give interesting effects as well. So try those. But let's just go now to say overlay. Let's put the colour up a little bit. Let's put that to 25%, say. Another thing you can do with this now is if I say, well, I quite like that red in the mountains there, but I don't want the sky as red. And down here, this is OK. I can use the um, blend ranges, which is this gear icon here. So I click on that one. Then for this one, I'm going to, if you're not sure which of the left or right graphs to use on this, try them. Yeah. Try, so if you try this one, say if I bring this down, there's a bit of an effect. Or if this one, uh, it's, well, it's kind of works a bit better on this one, so I'll use this one. Um, and if I drag this up here, then what I've got is it's pulled down the lights because this goes from dark to light. So I'm making the whites whiter, but keeping the darks. There, in fact, I can pull that across a bit. Here we go. And the, so we've got the sky is, is staying white while I'm keeping the the red colour in those the mountains there so I got more of a red tint into the mountains. So that's the sort of thing you can do with that. Something else um, which is just if I go back to this for a moment and I hit on reset that'll reset that and if I go I've got overlay here go back to normal and a pass to here let's take that back up to 100% and I'm going to drag this below because you can do this another way you can do it is you can put the fill layer below and now you go to the background layer and you can change the opacity of that. And you see as we bring it down now it comes through there. So that's another way of, of doing this. And with this as well then you can also go to the blend modes and look for an interesting, oh, that's curious, blend modes that are going to work for you here. Again, the same ones might work, but see overlay has a completely different effect here. It's just platted this out right out. So you can find different effect, whether it's above or below. Hmm, yeah, quite. Sometimes one is better, sometimes another is better, but normally I'd start off with the fill layer above. One other thing that we can quickly try, and I'll show you what happens, is curves. So if I put the opacity of this kind of back up, but if I go to curves here, yeah. now if I go to alpha channel, because alpha channel is about making the thing more transparent. If I take the left node and drag it up, nothing happens. If I take the right node and drag that left, nothing happens. But if I bring this down, now it starts to go transparent. So it's very much on that 
uh, vertical level on the right there. And if you go left and right on this, again, nothing's happening. So just use the vertical one. If you happen to be in curves and you want to create this effect, this is how you do it. You go to alpha and turn it down and it'll make it transparent or whatever's below will start to appear. Anyway, there we go. I hope that was useful and thank you very much for watching.